the ovum pickup procedure is to collect eggs from a live rhino. And so we have a specialized piece of equipment and we can go in, we can locate with ultrasound, we can locate the ovary and then insert a very tiny needle into the follicle, which is the uh, structure that grows the egg. And we can actually retrieve the egg out of that follicle, take it back to the lab, put it in culture, in vitro culture, mature it in culture, and then fertilize it through ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, and then culture to, to embryo development to the blastocyst stage. Before now, we have only been able to collect eggs post-mortem after we lose an older animal or someone in another zoo loses an older animal. And those eggs are not very viable. The best eggs, of course, come from a living animal. But we had to work with our South African collaborators to develop this instrument, this very complicated instrument, to actually go in and collect. But having those viable eggs, those very fresh eggs, is extremely important to us. We have to learn how to mature them in culture, how to fertilize them, and grow them to the stage that we would need for embryo transfer. We're using the Southern White Rhino as a model, of course, for the Northern White Rhino. If you into Blackyard 2 and we're going to immediately close that slider, I just don't want anybody to get stuck. Rhino is a model, of course, for the northern white rhino. If you saw one of these procedures, there are 30 to 40 people in attendance. Everything that happens to that rhino is monitored to make sure that she is healthy, that she's safe during this procedure. 